Good morning. My name is Audra Nova Wilkins, and I'm a fifth grade teacher at Jacob L. Adams Elementary. And this is my fabulous group of fifth graders. Everybody say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Today we're going to be talking about whether mass affects motion. And we're going to do that through a design challenge. All right, Kamari. All right, guys, remember last week during our stations, we explored the physical property of objects. Can someone tell me how those balance scales were used? How were those balance scales used? Zaniya? They measured the mass. They measured the mass. What, um, what kind of objects were we finding the mass of? Think back to our stations. So what were some of the objects that we found the mass of? Ellie. Um, a shell. Okay, we found the mass of a shell. Jada. A crayon. We did have a box of crayons as well. Uh, Javion. A mailbox. Yes, a little mini mailbox. <laughs> Victoria. Um, a shell too. Under, yeah, there were two shells. A deck of cards. A deck of cards. A candle holder. A little candle holder. Um, arm. One of those mini iPod shuffles, very old. And Kamari? A lock. Yes, a lock. All right, so we were finding the mass of all of those objects. What units of measurement did we use? Think back to what you put on the scales. What units of measurement? 20s, 10s, and 5s. Right, 20s, 10s, and 5s. And what were they? 20, 10s, and 5s? They were grams. Grams. Grams, good. Somebody tell me, what is mass? What is mass? Think about that for a second. Okay, arm. Mass is matter and matter is mass, and it's also anything that takes up space. Perfect, okay. And mass is perfect, the amount of matter in an object. Excellent. All right. All right, Kamari. OK. Now my question to you all is, do you think that mass is related to motion at all? Do you think that mass is related to motion? Think about it. Okay, Zaniah. Yeah, yes, because if the, if the car, that if the thing is too heavy, it'll, it'll go down really fast. If it's light, it's going to take its time. Okay, so you think if, if something is heavy, it's going to move fast, mm -hmm. and if it's light, it's going to take its time. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, tell me more. On a level of ground, it's the opposite of what you said. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. I like that answer. Okay. Um do you think that it's going to affect how far the cars you all make travel? How far they go? Do you think that the mass is going to affect how far your car will go? Okay. Jada, I saw you thinking like what do you think? I think yes, because I think the gravity is just going to push it down in the hill, because um, when I'm riding my bike, I go down the hill and it makes me go very fast. OK. All right. What do you think, Ellie? Um, I think it is going to um, affect how far it goes. OK. So we're, I'm seeing some or hearing some different answers. Um, this is something that we're going to be exploring during our design challenge, OK? All right, Kamari. All right, so on Friday, we started discussing our design challenge. Um, somebody tell me what our objective is. What is our objective? I want to see some different in Quincy. Design and create a car that can roll down a ramp. All right, so we're designing and creating a car that can roll down a ramp. Who can tell me what's going to be so special about the cars that we make? Because they're not going to be regular cars. They're going to be special. Um, Jackson? They're going to be made out of pasta. They're going to be made just out of pasta noodles. All right. All right, Kamari. All right, so remember 
The criteria is that your car must be made out of pasta noodles. The only exception is that the wheels are going to be made out of, who can tell me what the wheels are going to be made out of? JV on? Lifesavers. Yes, mints, <coughs> lifesavers, yes. All right, so the tools we're going to be using, we're going to use glue, you need the glue. Um, we will be using a balance scale to find the mass of the car. We're going to use a ramp to roll the car down. And then we're also going to use a meter stick to measure the distance that your car rolls. Um, I'm wondering if someone can tell me why these three things, we're going to use these on day two and not day one. Why are we using those on day two and not day one? Okay, AJ. Okay, all right. Anybody else want to tell me why you think um, we're just going to do this on day two? Think about what we did with our boats um, on the first day of school. What had to take place? Yeah, it takes a lot of time to build the car. What else? Is actually a really simple answer. <laughs> you have to design it. Yes, you have to design it. Do you think those cars are going to be ready to roll down the ramp today? No. Okay. Um, they might. Thank you. <laughs> they might need to dry, right? Okay, they need to dry so that those wheels can stay on and everything. All right. So, um, so the materials we're going to be using various types of pasta. They're all on the back table, and we kind of got to look at them on Friday. You, I got one, some of those large paper plates so that you guys can actually build your car on that. And then, of course, the mints for the wheels. All right. Okay, on Friday, you guys work with your group to brainstorm some ideas about your car. Um, let's go ahead. If anybody would like to share one of something about their design, something about their design. Okay, Jada. Um, ours are kind of silly because we made up, we put all our stuff together. So we made a truck and we put many of wheels so it can go down like pretty faster. And we just put some extra stuff on it. Okay. All right. Did you talk about or did you label what type of noodles you were going to use in what specific place? No. Okay. So that's definitely something you want to do today. Okay, so for the frame of the car, okay, all right. Anybody else want to share what they came up with? All right, okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, so today what you're going to do is you're really going to make sure you've got a good design going on. So you're going to get with your group. And you all are going to design and sketch out your plan for how you want your car to actually work and what you want it to look like. The key is that you need to make sure that you label what materials you're using in your design. Okay, so if you're going to use lasagna for the base or for the frame, then when you draw, you need to write, you know, lasagna. This lasagna goes here. Um, if you're going to use rigatoni as like a decoration on the side, then you need to make sure that you label that. And I know that some of you guys have already started that part, but you have some time to work on that part first. When you're ready to go ahead and start building your um, car, I need for you to choose one or two materials managers to come to the back. They're going to be the people responsible for getting the material so that we don't have like 10 people at the back table, okay? Um, so you're going to raise your hand and then I'll call you all to the back and you can get what you need. Okay, come on. One more thing I want you all to think about. What should you do if you begin building your car and then you realize there's a flaw in your design, like a mistake? 
you're building it and then you say, oh man. Okay, Raymond. Okay, now when you say redesign it, does that mean you're gonna stop building and then go to that section on your paper and do it? Okay, you think that you should probably do that, Quincy? Okay, like actually do it. Okay. Okay. All right. I wanted you all to make sure that you know sometimes when you're making something and you realize, oh, I should have done this, I don't want you to go to your paper and start redesigning it again. I want you to just do it when you're making your car. So you may realize something and say, wait a minute, we probably shouldn't do that. Let's go ahead and do this instead. Go for it. It's your car. It's your design. Later on, when we get to that section where you have to think about, should I have done something different? That's where you will write that down. Okay? All right. Does anyone have questions before I let you get with your group? Kamari, can you go to the page before? Yes, right there. Does anyone have questions before I let you um, get with your group? and start perfecting your design. Okay. <laughs> I, I know what that is. You don't have to one, see or two, it. Um, one or two um, yeah. supplies over there. So, me and Jada? They're right over there. Okay. Um, first, we need a lasagna for the I don't know how to spell it. It's okay. Do you know how to spell it? No. All right. It's, it's confusing. What are we doing? Well, I don't think I spelled that wrong. Well, she told her not to worry about the... You can have to, yeah. You can have, you can have more than that. I have plenty. It's up to you, one or two. But when you're ready, let me know. Come on to the back. I thought those were the All right, hold on one second, Kamari, because um, do, I don't see anything on your paper yet for your design. Okay, tell me how many of these you need. Go ahead and go. I have plenty. I have, here's your plate. Okay. 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 Go ahead and put it there. Six. Yeah, six. Okay. Now remember, you might, if you want to break it, you can. Okay. Okay, then we can use these to attach that. Okay. I remember, so this is short spaghetti, this is long, depending on how you want it. Okay. There's plenty. All right, you guys are definitely going to need the glue. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're using enough for the doors. Right? Oh, yeah, the door. All right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the doors. Because they're so cool. <laughs> What'd you say? Um, no. Yeah, you do. You guys can go ahead and do your design first, and then, you know, don't spend some time on it, but don't waste too much time. Okay? I have like a small sketch in my sketchbook. Are you serious? Okay, well, let's see your sketchbook. You think you're ready? Okay. Kamari, why don't you go ahead and grab a plate and start getting the materials while I look at this really quick for Aram. Okay, oh, is that the lasagna right there? Cool. <laughs> okay, well, go for it. All right, so um, do you all know what kind of noodles you're going to use? Okay. All right, well. <laughs> Yeah, you can break those, and I also have more. Are you re you're really going to use all those spaghetti noodles? 
Okay, I mean, you just, if you don't think you're going to use them all. Yeah. Okay. Plates are right here. Could be decorative, totally up to you. Yeah, you guys are just getting your materials on your plate and then you're going to build it on there. Okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. There's long spaghetti also if you want. It's totally up to you. You can use both. Yeah. It looks very similar to the rigatoni. Yeah. Do you need something else in Okay. I mean, there's more. Victoria, are you ready? Come on. Yes, you can come back. <laughs> All right. You, I saw your design. You had some lasagna. You want two of these? Okay. All right, now, honey, go ahead and grab what else you need. And I have more mints as well. Okay, yeah. we're gonna make the top hat. First, we need to break. One. Break me out. Okay, now. Okay, well, this is my question for you. Do you think that those spaghetti noodles are going to be strong enough to withhold your car? How can you make them strong enough? Because you only have one. Add a little more. You said what? Add some more. Okay. So you can use plenty, plenty more. Um, so you might want to go ahead and do that. And also keep in mind that your wheels are going to have to move. Okay, so if you glue them, they may not be able to roll. Okay. So think about that. This cannot work. Oh, Jada, remember, look at our mindset. This can't work. What if it does work? Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. Aram? Adam's gators stick together. Bye.